Okay, so I'm going to show a simple fix for those who have issues with their uh, key fob um, inserting it into the car and trying to start it, but it will not turn inside the um, vehicle's tumbler, uh, so to speak. And if it does turn and you are able to get the vehicle started, um, after about maybe 10 or 15 seconds, a red ESP warning light shows up in the center console of the dash. Um, your windows will not wind down or wind up, nor does the sunroof, moonroof, uh, function or work. So I'll show a fix for this. Also, um, the third instance where there's an issue with your key is you'll be able to get it in there and turn it. All the lights on the dash will light up, but the vehicle will not start. So I'll show you a simple, inexpensive, cheap fix instead of going and spending four or five hundred bucks for a new key fob this may be the resolution for you guys all right all right so i have the standard uh, key fob here i'm going to insert and show you the symptoms that i was speaking about all right let's try and see if we can get it at an angle here i can't get it to turn at all it's stuck whatever electronic device is in here not reading the key to release the lock so it will allow me to engage and twist fully so all these attempts my foot is on the not that it matters my foot is on the brake pedal and it's still not going <clears throat> all right so we're gonna show I'm gonna show you how to fix it. all right here are the keys um, the standard the issue that I found that is the problem with me Um, let me get the key open first. Okay. So I can slide this guy here. Okay, sorry about that. So, uh, so I stuck this key. Portion. I don't know if you can see it. Into this little slot right here, and in doing so, yes, there are no batteries in here. Um, I took them out prior to doing this, but stick it in here like so. And as you push in on that guy. I assume most of you would already see, but once you push in on that guy, then you can, and hold it, then you can pull and slide out by the lip here. Some people use their teeth to get it out. So what we have in here is uh, the chip portion uh, inside the key fob. So I'm going to go, my plastic, this, this normally would not work for most people if they're white plastic piece here was intact. Mine is not. Um, one leg right here is still there. The other leg that was here is broken so it slides out much easier. Um, if you do experience, uh, if you do try and get it out, there are videos online that will show you how to do it with one that is intact. Follow the, the removal procedure because I'm not going to go into detail here. Um, but what I suspect as the main issue is why we have that problem when I try and start it is these two infrared, one and two, um, I'll call them LEDs uh, for lack of a better word, are not lined up properly with that um, the, the, the tumbler in the vehicle. ELV I think is what it's called. <clears throat> and that might be due to um, plastic wearing away over time and deforming and not lining them up properly inside the vehicle's tumbler uh, electronic anti-theft tumbler lock <laughs> so what i'm going to go ahead and do is show you guys a, a quick fix and all you'll need is uh paper now this is not your standard printer paper it's a little bit thicker i forgot what they call it but um yeah, you can't run you you usually would not run this through your regular printer um this would be for um Maybe professional or even corporate printers can do this kind of stuff, print on this kind of paper, but it's thicker. So I tore off a strip like so, 
and this is, I'll show you, this is the old piece of paper I had in there that wasn't functional. But I want to show you what I'm about to do right now, so give me a second. All right, so I kind of <coughs> tore this wider um, strip of paper down and made it more narrow in, in, in its um, width to kind of match what I had there originally. And so for me, in my instance, with my plastic key, I'm folding this over like so. One fold, two folds, three folds, four folds, five folds. For some of you out there, you may need, who knows, two, three, four, maybe more than five folds um, to slide in, but you'll see what I'm doing in a second. So I got five folds here. I hold, push it down real nice and tight. Okay, I'm taut. And so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to, when it slides back into the plastic key, this blue portion, let me rotate, this blue portion is going to be wedged on top like so with a little lip, a little lip from here hanging out out to about right there so I can if I ever need to get it out I can take a key and pull on the lip and it will slide out and this whole insert will kind of it won't be stuck but the purpose of this is to wedge it here and then wedging it here it somehow mysteriously makes these two LEDs line up exactly in line with the tumbler now you can get it maybe 50% uh, in line um, other times I had that happen sometimes, but for the most part, when you get it done right, it literally works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Stick this on like so, and then slide this whole deal back into here. Um, it's kind of tough doing it one-handed, but let me see what I can do. All right, so hold on, guys. All right, here goes. I have this all in here, all in all. So I'm sticking this in, back in like so. Okay, and if you notice, it's not going in uh, perfectly straight. It's kind of at an angle. So, if you have issues with this, I'll show you what to do. Let me do this first. So I have my piece here. I'm gonna stick it on like so. Okay, hold on. Let me get it wedged in there like this. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, and I slide it in. All right, it's still not perfectly 100% in line, so I'm going to use the key. Hold on. There we go. As I push it in, I, use, I can lift up. But. So I'm sliding this in. Now on the back end, I do this gently, not too, too hard, but I use this to get the whole chip inside the plastic key fob. So now I'm going to tear off my excess um, uh, excess paper. Uh, if you can see there, I'm going to tear it off probably about right here. I just need that little flap. Well, that's good as a means when I need to pull it and slide it out. So if you look how I did it here, you can kind of get an idea. All right, and now comes this portion. I have no batteries in here, that's fine. Um, and I'll slide it in, I'll put batteries in later. Um, okay, so hold on, it'll be a little bit thicker, but. Let's do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sliding this in. Ooh. Okay. And I've slid it in with no battery. Okay. Alright, so it's a little bit snug a fit. Just, 
if I were to push in on these while I slid it in, it would go directly in. But let's go check. Let's go check it on the car. All right. So here we are in the car. Uh oh. Let me turn that back on. All right. Let's have a look here. So sticking this in like so, and it works. And my blinker signals work. That's a way. Hold on. Turn this on. It's a way to buy that it's fully functional and not 50% functional. Because in some instances, you'll be able to start the car and you think everything's fine. After about 10 to 15 seconds, right here, a red ESP malfunction warning will pop up. Your SR5 light might be on here and your blinkers will not work nor will your windows wind down nor will the uh, sunroof moonroof open and uh, other features as well will not function when you get it 50 percent right but you can at least drive the vehicle um, and hobble home from wherever you may be stuck at based on this uh, key fob issue that would have occurred all you need is a piece of paper and fold it over to be able to um, to rectify and fix that and if you want to look see here let me turn these on all right so while the engine's running I'm going to if I can do it hold on okay there we go so I loosened it up okay sliding this out and you can still see that uh, paper method you can still see that paper method that I did in there. See? So it just goes to show that this is a quick fix. Save yourself that $400 to $500 for a new key fob if this is your issue. Alright? And I have no batteries in this uh, key fob and the vehicle still starts. Alright? Batteries, I guess, are just for the uh, alarm portion of it. Alright, I hope that helps. And, um... It's another frugal fabrication production. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later.